Hey guys, this is Matt for Creative. This is the old Ripple Pod system. This one's done. We have the new Pods 2.0 system, very reflective, very covered in plastic wrap. Let me try and tear this off here. All right, this took a little bit longer than I thought to get here, and I want to open this up quickly because I'm excited to see how these are different from the original one. Because I've been using the original, I've been using the disposables, I've been using everything. And again, oh yeah, you can smell it. You can smell all this. Let's see what comes in the package first before we get this. A beautiful little flower thing if you want to frame this. A description of the pods. We have the pods here. And of course, we have our stickers, as always. What does that one say? Have a nice forever. Which is nice because we have no nicotine, because nicotine is terrible, in my opinion. And it is just factually terrible, made by Rebel X-rated remedies. Oh, the droplets. We'll be covering the droplets pretty soon, because it's now candle season. And we have our F Nick Get Cloudy. All right, so those are stickers. Now let's go right into this. And if this falls out, I'm trying to make this like nice and presentable. Please don't fall out. Oh, there we go. Look at that. So we have the classic flavors here. All right, here's the device. Here are the pods. This is a little charging thing, which I found really, really cool. All right, so if you've seen my Instagram whatevers, you probably know that I have my unit and I made sure I charge this up. By the way, so you can get this in two configurations. So you can get this device in all the six pods here. They have other limited edition variations too, but you get like the kit. This is like the starting kit. If you don't have anything and you wanna start, or you can get the pod kit, which is literally just the device and the little stand. And I've already had, I have this charged up. I have it all good, and what I really want to show you is that little stand because it kind of allows you to put this on your desk. It allows you to keep it with you, allows you to, to know where this is, and if you have a laptop, like I have my MacBook floating around some there, somewhere, you can just plug this in the side. It's literally always there with you, and we have this here. So this is charged up. We are ready to use, oh my God, and the scent coming from these is incredible. So let's touch. I really did throw the other one somewhere where I can't really find it. But let's put one of the flavors inside. All right, which pod are we choosing? Um, we are going to be choosing the orange, which is happy. Passion fruit aroma. You've seen the other videos where we've covered the other flavors. We're going to be doing that again in subsequent videos. But here we have this with a little coating on it. So I would say if, if you have one of these newer old pods, keep this little bottom piece because it may like when you're done with this, you can hot swap these in and out because it's magnetic. You'll see because you don't want to throw these out immediately. And what I really, really like and what I was wondering about early is this is my favorite and Ripple, you have to bring this back. This is Bliss. This is their Kiwi flavor. But if I lost the packaging, I wouldn't know what it is. Now we have color coding on the inside. For me personally, I would have liked to see color coding on the outside, but we have color coding on the inside. So if you pop it out, you're like, oh, it is happy or it's whatever flavor you have. Uh, don't forget to take this little piece out here. And it feels different, it feels premium. Did you hear that? This is something that I actually noticed when I was charging it for the first time. Pull it out, put it back in. It vibrates. It has like a little like, like, I, like iPhone motor in it that kind of revs it up and vibrates so you know that you have one on here. So they've gone for the, please say ripples, right side up. It is right side up. They've gone with a soft touch aluminum feel here. So this has a nice kind of like tapered, it's almost like a stone that you would find in a river. Uh, do you want to look at the device or do you want to look at my face? Come on camera, you have one job to do. Um, let's compare it with the old one. 
So the old one, it's much more blocky. It has like a kind of black band on the side. Um, they're kind of emulating the old square devices. And again, those are old now. Though, like they've been replaced with the wider disposables. So I think it's best that they have like this kind of, and I love the feeling of this. It just feels right in my hand. Look at these two next to each other here. I know it's a lot of like white here, but I hope that you can see this. That is cool. The sizing, um, the new one's a little bit taller, kind of like the new iPhone. And is it thinner? It's about the same thickness. Um, one of my biggest drawbacks on this one was the airflow of the disposables was the best. This one, not as good. I'm curious to see. I'm also going to do this one more time. Look at the way the light kind of goes too. Look, it lights up. That's kind of cool. All right, we're going to do happy. Okay. You can hear it in my voice. That is exactly what I was looking for here. The pull is so much better, so much better than this one here. And it just kind of feels it. And you can feel, like, I'm going to try and do this as close to the mic as I can so you can kind of hear it. It feels robust. <laughs> you know, listen to my voice. It feels robust. That is really cool. Look at the way that the top portion of this indents. It has a little divot inside. It's clean. It's like the design team from Ripple has done better every single time that they have released a product. And I've been very, very happy with seeing how this product has come along. Like if you've seen, and I wish I had one of the old ones, they were old tiny little device and I loved how small they were just because they were so pocketable. The new ones a little bit wider, but they still fit in the pocket. But going from those tiny little devices that felt like a stick of gum to wider devices, they felt just more ergonomic. And going from this, the old pod system to this new device here, I have to take my hat off to Ripple here. I've been working with them. You know I work with them. I have the discount code. Use that discount code. It helps me. It helps the channel. It it helps you too because it's a discount code. But I I try to be as uh, is unbiased a word. Yeah, I think it is a word. But it just works. And I love that these are just they're intuitive. They work. You're like, oh, I want a different flavor. I'm just going to take this one out. Oh, am I putting this in the right way? Yeah, because it vibrated. It gets you that tactility. And I love looking at that little plus sign. I know I'm just being like a fanboy about this, but it's the simple things. And also, can it go the other way? Yeah. Yeah, it can go the other way. Why wouldn't it? When something works out, when something just feels right, I'm there for it. I love backing these things. I love functional products. For me, this has always been something of a kind of a, a fidget thing, something that I use outside because many people ask, Matt, you don't smoke. I don't smoke. I just personally don't smoke. I don't smoke cigarettes, weed, or do any of that. And it's just not something that I'm interested in. So why do you use this? And for me, it's all about your personal preference. If you want to use this, go for it. You have to know that air is the only clean thing that you're going to be intaking into your lungs as a human, period. This is just better than the other alternatives. I remember when vaping was big here in New York City, and it still is, and still people do it, but it was made with synthetics. There was nicotine in all of them. You could like ramp it up as much as you possibly wanted to, and it was just something that it just didn't feel right to me. I kind of did it maybe in 2016, but I just kind of like, it fell off immediately. It didn't have any appeal to me. The one thing that did have appeal was those kind of fruit flavors. And I understand when you have a nicotine product, not this, when you have a nicotine product, as the other ones were, you can't really have something that it, that it just doesn't work with those flavors. It just feels like it's it's not meant to be. But when you have this here with these flavors, it just works out. Oh, and I forgot. You remember this. If 
If you don't want to inhale anything in your lungs, other than I guess the offshoot of the vapor that we're getting here, you don't have to in you don't have to directly inhale. You can always push out. It is a personal diffuser by definition. And I remember I even got just another comment right now, them saying, Oh, you know you're not supposed to do this with this device. And I'm like, this was engineered to do so. Other devices, you probably shouldn't do so just because it was never intended for that use. But the people at Ripple, they did this to be either that or this. And again, when you inhale it, it always feels a little bit cooler. When you exhale through and get that vapor around you, it always feels creamier to me. So I'm very happy with what Ripple has released here. I think it's a great thing. This is the first time seeing this product like all together. I remember playing with the pod kit and, and being like, I wish I had a pod. I wish I had something to use. And now I finally have it here. I'm excited to be using this. I'm gonna be taking this on the street. I'm gonna be showing people this. If you have any questions and you live in New York or if you have any questions and whatever, just put it in the comment section below. Don't forget guys, I'm on Instagram and threads at m8b9. You can email me at creativenyc2024 at gmail.com. This is exciting. We're gonna be going down every single flavor in subsequent videos to see if they anything feels different with this device, but moreover, the airflow is great. It feels it feels nice. But Ripple, I, I got to say one thing. Um, do you remember the disposable Ripple Loser with that finish, that kind of metallic finish on it? Guys, if you ever release a limited edition model, maybe think of me. I would like a metallic or a black. I wear everything all in black. If you guys could do this in all in black, I would, uh, my head would explode and I would be so happy of that. But guys, don't forget, you can either get it in this pack. This is going to fall. Yep, that's going to fall. You can get it in the pack if you've never had this before. You want to try all like the main, the mainstay flavors or you can get just the device only. And I want to I want to applaud them and we'll be doing another video about this as well about the size of the packaging that it, they, they've done. They've gone from bigger kind of like not efficient packaging to slimming down just like many other companies have. But I applaud you guys. You've been doing a great, great job. Anyway, guys, that's it. This video is running long. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And I will see you next time.